This is Stephen Vig, and I'd like to talk about how angle of attack influences path and swing direction in the golf swing. In the first example, a golfer has a zero degree angle of attack with his driver and the ball strikes the center of the club. There will be no influence of the angle of attack in this example. He likes to hit a slight draw that starts to the right and curves back to the target. His path at impact is positive four degrees, which is to the right, and his face is positive two degrees. The ball will start out to the right of the target and curve back to the left all the way to the target. Notice that if his path was positive four degrees and the face was positive three degrees, he would hit an under draw with the ball starting to the right of the target but ending up just to the right of the target. If the path was positive four degrees and the face was positive one degree, he would hit an overdraw with the ball starting to the right of the target and ending up just to the left of the target. So notice in that example that there was no influence of the angle of attack since it was zero. In the next two examples, we'll look at the angle of attack and how it influences path and where to align your body at address, which is your swing direction. As far as angle of attack goes, if you are hitting down on the ball, you'll have a negative angle of attack. That might happen with an iron, for example. It could happen with a wood as well. If you are hitting up on the ball, you'll have a positive angle of attack. And that's uh, most, most commonly seen with a driver if you're trying to hit with a positive angle of attack. You can think of the swing direction as a straight line tangent on the ground touching the bottom of the swing plane that goes from your knee height on the downswing to knee height on the follow through. You can also think of your swing direction as kind of where you aim your body at a dress. You can think of the path, however, as the direction of the club head as it travels down the swing plane on the downswing from knee height to impact where path direction would be to the right of the swing direction, and also direction of the club head as it travels up the swing plane on the upswing from impact to knee height. The path direction of the club head would be to the left of the swing direction at that point. Now here's an example. Example number two, a golfer has an upward driver angle of attack of two degrees. The driver has about a 45 degree angle with the ground and the ratio of angle of attack to path is one to one. The upward angle of attack of positive two degrees will tend to move the path two degrees to the left of the swing direction. If this golfer wants to hit a straight shot at the target with no draw or fade, he will align his body in swing direction two degrees to the right of the target, positive two degrees swing direction, and will have a path of zero degrees. He will try to get a face angle of zero so that the ball goes straight. If this same golfer decided he wanted to hit a draw to the target with a path of positive four and a face of positive two, he would have to shift his body alignment, which would be swing direction, four more degrees to the right for a total swing direction of, well, you add up positive two and positive four, equals positive six, six degrees to the right of the target. His path will be positive four, and he will try to get a face angle of positive two so that the ball starts to the right of the target and draws back to the target. In example three, a golfer has a downward angle of attack of negative four degrees and he's hitting a six iron. The six iron has about a 60 degree angle of the shaft compared to the ground. And in this case, the ratio of angle of attack to path is two to one, unlike the driver, which was one to one. A downward angle of attack of negative four degrees will move the path to the right of the swing direction by two degrees because it was four divided by two. 
If this golfer wants his path to go straight at the target, he will need to align his body, his swing direction, to the left two degrees, which is a swing direction of negative two degrees. His path will be zero, and he will also try to keep the face angle zero. And so with a path of zero and a face angle of zero, he'll hit a straight shot. However, let's say the same golfer likes to hit draws, and he wanted to hit a draw to the target with a path of positive four and a face of positive two. He would have to align his body, the swing direction, four more degrees to the right for a total swing direction of negative two added to positive four equals positive two degrees. That would be your new swing direction. If he then keeps his face at positive two degrees in the path of positive four degrees, he will draw the ball back to the target. And uh, just briefly, a couple other things about uh, TrackMan. Uh, notice that for slow to mid driver speeds, the average golfer will get more distance with an upward, a positive attack angle, and will try to contact the ball just above the sweet spot on the driver face to further increase the launch angle. Uh, for some very high driver speeds, some of the stronger professionals will try to obtain a lower attack angle, maybe zero degrees, or even for example, a minus one degree attack angle because they're willing to sacrifice some distance in order to hit a lower trajectory straighter drive that is more likely to find the fairway during competition on the golf course. These professional golfers already have lots of ball speed and club head speed and are more interested in hitting a straighter drive instead of maximizing distance. Other professional drivers and a lot of amateurs should hit up with a more upward or positive attack angle going for maximum distance and sacrificing some accuracy with the driver. Uh, example five, we'll assume a right-handed uh, golfer. The golfer noticed on his trackman screen that the toe of his iron was two degrees up at impact, which will tend to make the ball go to the left. He checked and his hands were not too low at address or impact and he goes to the golf store and had his irons bent two degrees flatter so that the toe of the club was no longer in the air at impact and the leading edge of the iron would be horizontal to the ground at impact. Now the ball will have more of a tendency to fly straight and not go to the left since he has corrected this lie angle. And lastly, let's just talk a little bit about gear effect. A golfer noticed that when the ball contacted the heel of his driver, that it would tend to curve from left to right. The golfer also noticed that when the ball contacted the toe of his driver, that it would tend to curve from right to left. The face of the driver has a horizontal bulge, which is an outward curvature from heel to toe. Also, the center of gravity is further from the, from the club face on the driver compared to an iron. Contact on the heel tends to make the ball curve from left to right. Contact on the toe tends to make the ball curve from right to left. The face of the driver also has some vertical bulge, which is an outward curvature from crown to sole. If this golfer wanted to launch his ball a little higher, he could try to contact the ball just above the sweet spot in the center of the face. Note that the face of an iron really has no bulge or roll and the center of gravity is much closer to the face of the club, so there's much less gear effect with an iron compared with your driver. And this is Stephen Vig, and I hope uh, these were helpful to you. Um, signing off.